Hey guys, let us learn how to create a dynamic month calendar using functions. Like here you can see it is current month and today's date is highlighted in a different color. Current month is also in a different color and whatever is not belonging to current month that is highlighted in gray. And you can use this spin button to change the month. Let's go through this step by step process for creating this calendar. So what we have here is this cell is having current month starting date. We have seven columns for seven days of the week and roughly six rows. Okay, because we don't know when our month will start. So we need to keep some extra cells for that. Now we will mainly use sequence function in this case. So let us learn how sequence function works. So if I type sequence and let's say I put a number six. So what it does, it gives me a series of one to six. So I type six in rows. If I type six comma seven, that means six rows and seven columns. When I press enter, it is giving me a series of numbers going from one to seven columns and then starting again from eight to 14 and like that in six rows. By default, the starting value is one. So if we want, we can change it to October 1st, 2021. When I press enter, I get these numbers. If I press control shift and three, that's the shortcut for date formatting. Now you can see here first October is starting on Sunday, which is not the case in real calendar. So if I go there, first October was on Friday. So it should come here. That means this cell should have five days earlier date. Okay. First October will come on Friday, which is the sixth day of the week. So I need to deduct five days out of that first October. Then only it will reach five days earlier. Okay. So whatever is my weekday for the first day of that month. Okay. I need to reduce one less than that number. So if it is six, I need to deduct five, five days. If it is four, I need to deduct three. Okay. What we will do is we can say minus five in this case and our first October comes on Friday. But this is a manual work. How to do it for any month? So for that, rather than this five, we will use choose function. So choose function gives results based on a number. Where will we get number from? We will use weekday function. So weekday of starting date of the month. And then what are the options based on this number? So if it is one, we need zero. If it is two, we need one. And like that, we need numbers up to six. Close the bracket one more time and press enter. And now you can see our formula is dynamic with respect to choose function. And we don't need to worry about deducting something manually. Now after this, to make it better, what we can do, we can go for custom formatting because we don't want to see full date. We just want day part. So D is enough for calendar. And when we click OK, this is what we have. I will select these, reduce the width of the columns. And then now let us do some conditional formatting. So by default, the color is this light yellow. If something is not relevant to current month, we want it to be gray. So go to conditional formatting after selection and go for new rule. And our rule is based on formula. And here we will type if month of this date, remove the dollars is not equal to month of, okay, month of this cell. So whenever it is not matching to the current month, then it should be formatted in a light gray color. So I will go for this formatting. And in fact, font also, I will select little bit gray, click OK and click OK. So whatever is not matching to the current month, that is in a different, different color. Now, one more additional formatting I would like to do is for today. So if something is today, so go for conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and then go for this category of dates. If something is appearing as today, then maybe you can make it green fill with dark green text. Click OK. And that's all today. Now this is a manual date. How to make it dynamic so that we can select which month we want to see. 
so for that go for developer tab insert here we can use this spin button and place it somewhere you can press control 1 to see the formatting of this button what we need is current value let's say 1 starting value 1 and maximum value 12 and increase by 1 whenever we click any of the arrows link it to any blank cell in this case a2 the purpose of this button is to generate a number so if i so if i show you here so when i when i click on the upper arrow it gives me 2 and like that it goes up to 12 okay so this is behaving as my month number and based on this month number i want to generate first date of that month and for that i can type a function date here i will go for 2021 and we can use month from this date and we can use one as the day part press enter so that's our month and i have also formatted this cell as triple m and four y's so that i see only short month and the year when i click ok now when i increase it this becomes two this becomes fab and automatically my calendar changes so let's go for july so if i go back to my calendar in the july you can see it was starting on thursday and ending on saturday starting on thursday ending on saturday rest of the dates are not relevant to this month so that's one way of creating a dynamic calendar now we have used sequence function and that was playing a major role of creating the series of days now what if you don't have sequence function because sequence function is only available in office 365 version of excel so if you don't have it no problem what we can do is remove this part of sequence and ending bracket and press enter so we will get some date here okay we can type in the next cell this plus one and copy this formula paste it in all the cells not in the first column but everywhere else now for this one what i can do take the previous row last cell plus one so that i can maintain the series in a horizontal manner and copy this in the remaining rows and it is giving me the same effect so even if you don't have the sequence function we can still work and to hide this cell you can press ctrl 1 go for custom and here in the formatting you can type three semicolons so three semicolons means don't show the value okay so that's it from my side hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and share your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching see you in the next video